Hey guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I'm going to show you how to get sharp images in your photos by using the high pass filter in Photoshop. Now, this editing tip was sent in by a fantastic photographer, Philip Hagel. I have followed Philip's work for several years now, and he does an amazing job. So, I think you're going to love this tutorial today. To read the full tutorial and to see Philip's work, you can click on the link in the description or just head over to CozyClicks.com forward slash sharp. All right, let's learn how to make your pictures look nice and sharp. This is the image I'm going to be using today to show you. And it's important to note that when you apply this technique, you want to make sure that all of your edits are complete. So this is the last step you do in your editing process. Now I'm going to go up to layer and I'm just going to duplicate the layer here and click OK. And then I'm going to go up to filter, down to other, and click high pass. You'll see when you do that, it turns gray, and that's okay. You'll also notice you'll be able to see some of your photo pop through in that gray. Those are the areas that are going to be really affected by the sharpening. So that's what you want to pay close attention to. Now, subtlety is key here. So I recommend starting small and then just sliding your slider toward the right to get to a sharpness that you think looks nice and natural. You want to be careful you don't bring it up too far or it's going to look pretty fake. Now, this is the part where it takes some practicing. So you're going to want to play around with this and see what amount of sharpening looks best for your photos. Then you're going to click OK. Now, your photo still looks gray here, and it should. We're going to change the blending mode now. So with this background copy selected, you're going to change the blending mode from normal, and that's right here up to overlay. And that's it. Now you have a nice, sharp, final image. And you'll see I'm going to turn it off. There it is without the sharpening. And there it is with the sharpening on. So you can see it's just a small, subtle amount that really helps make your photo pop. Now I'd love to know in a comment below, are you going to give this editing tip a try. Type yes in the comment if you're going to try this one out. I think you're going to love the results that it makes on your photo. It's so easy and so effective. So thank you so much, Philip, for sharing this tip technique with us. Once again, you can check out Philip's work and see the written tutorial by going to CozyClicks.com forward slash sharp. Now, I'd love if you would subscribe to the channel, and if you do try this technique, I would love to see what your results are. So if you post it over on Instagram, make sure to mention or tag me at Cozy Clicks so I can check out the work you're creating. Thanks again so much for watching, and I will see you next time.